Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going through how to download and install mods on Stardew Valley. Later in the video, I'll also be going through how to disable your mods and how to update all your mods when new updates occur. So let's get started. To download mods for Stardew Valley, you're going to want to use the website Nexus Mods. Now before we install any mods, we need a program to properly read mods, which is where the program Smappy will come in. This stands for Stardew Modding Application Programming Interface. It is a free tool to use and allows mods to interact with the game's code. You can download Smappy from the website Nexus Mods, which you will also be using to download mods you are wanting. You will first need to create a profile which will be free to do. Now that we are ready to download Smappy, click on the manual download button in the top right, and then slow download. Smappy and other mods you will download will come in a zipped folder, which you'll need to extract. The program I use is WinRAR, which is free to use. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to access the website. Once you have Smappy downloaded and now have WinRAR, we are ready to extract the files. Drag and drop the folder onto your desktop, open up the folder, and double click on the installer. It'll ask if Stardew Valley is already downloaded, which it is, so type 1, and then hit enter. Then it'll ask if you want to install, which we do, so type 1 and hit enter. Smappy will then provide you with a link, which you'll need to copy and paste into Steam so that when you load up Stardew Valley, it'll automatically open up through Smappy. Use Ctrl C to copy the link. Now, right click on Stardew Valley in Steam, click Properties, and paste it in the bar below. Now let's look at how to download a mod from Nexus Mod. For every mod you are looking to download, be sure to look through the description section to see if everything is okay with that mod and what the mod does. You'll also want to go through the requirements needed for that specific mod, as there are many mods that require other mods to be installed to properly run them. If you install a mod into the game and it isn't working properly, you may be missing a mod that is required, so it's always a good idea to always have a look through the requirements first. One mod that is always needed is Content Patcher, so we can start by downloading this first. Go to the top right and click Manual Download and then Slow Download. Once the mod is downloaded, we now need to find where our mod folder is located. To do this, go to Steam, right click on Stardew Valley, Manage, and then click on Browse Local Files. The Stardew Valley folder will open and your mod folder should appear. Now all you need to do is drag the folder from WinRAR into the mod folder. One thing I would highly recommend doing is to make sure to load the game after every mod you download to ensure the mod is actually working correctly. Also, if you do have mods within Stardew Valley but maybe want to disable them rather than deleting them, you can rename the mods by adding a period in front of the mod name, which will have that mod disabled instead of having to delete it. Now moving on to updating your mods. What I would highly recommend downloading is Stardrop Mod Manager. This will tell you exactly what mods need updating and provides you a link to the update page when you click on the green text that says Update Available. When you are updating a mod, all you need to do is drag the updated mod into the mods folder and when it asks if you want to replace it, simply select Yes. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see more content just like this one.